Okay, you guys, I'm back. That's where I stop. So, Mary told her man what her plans was. <clears throat> and he was all down for it. He was with it, you know what I mean? But his big mouth told all his friends. And then word got back to Lisa. And then Lisa was like, oh, snap. What's she going to do? Because that's the only thing Lisa really had going for her was that uh she was giving it up. And that's the only reason why he was talking to her or whatever because, I mean, that's how she had going for her at the time. So if Mary gives it up too, then what he going to want with Lisa? You know what I'm saying? This this is how Lisa was looking at it. So Lisa come tell me, you know, one morning we're talking, and she's like, well, when they going to have sex? And I was like, uh, I don't know. You know, I'm not in their business like that. I mean, I knew when. But I wasn't going to tell her because it's none of her business. So I was like, I'm not really sure, you know, of the date and time and all that. And she was like, well, I mean, he can sleep with her if she wants to. If they want to be together, that's fine. Because she ain't going to be able to do stuff that I can do. Which could have been right. You know what I'm saying? You been in the game doing these things for quite a long time. She's going to be brand new at it. So, of course, it's probably not going to be as good. But still, you know. That's their prerogative. So, Lisa was like, well, you know what I need you to do? I was like, what? She's like, I need you to talk to T. I was like, what do you mean talk to T? She's like, I need y'all to be a couple. She's like, if y'all start dating, then he'll, uh, her boyfriend will stay with her and won't mess with Mary. Which is not the truth, you know. That boy going to do whatever he want to do. But that's how she saw it. So, I told her, I said, no, no, I can't talk to T, baby. I can't, I can't do that. She's like, why not? I was like, I just, I just can't. I can't talk to T. That's that is my best friend. I cannot. I can't talk to him. Not on that level. You know what I mean? She was like, "Yes, you can. He likes you, and this is that." I was like, "He don't like me like that." I was like, "We are just friends. That's all it is." See, everybody back in the day, everybody wanted me to talk to T. Everybody. But you know, when you have a good friend, you don't want to ruin that friendship by getting into a relation. Hey, don't do that. You better sit down somewhere. Y'all, this child over here. Mama, no. Sit down so you won't fall. So I'm like, no, I can't, I can't talk to T. She was like, yeah, yeah, talk to T, yeah. You need to be his girl, you need to be his woman. I said, like, I can't talk to him, girl, I can't do that. You know, T got too many females for me, and I don't believe in sharing like that. She was like, why not? I was like, I just can't, girl. I just can't. So, you know, she trying to convince me to talk to him. I'm like, no, no, I'm not going to talk to him like that. It's not going to happen. So, time go by and it comes a day where the deed is supposed to go down. Everything going to place. You know, they having the party. And, y'all, I'm at the party trying to be a, a bodyguard. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want them to have sex because I didn't want my best friend to catch no disease. Because no telling who that boy done slept with and all that good stuff. So when I tell you I was cock blocking, I was cock blocking. Every time they got close together, I'm sliding in between there, honey. I'm, I'm doing my best to not make it happen. But see, T, he was on his friend's side. So he, every time I'm trying to block, he over there trying to initiate it, you know, bringing them closer together, making them dance together and all that. I'm like, now look, I had to have a talk with T. I was like, look, best friend, I need you to help me. To stop this from happening. Because it, it, it's it's not a good thing. He was like, nah, my boy, he finna get it in. My boy finna get it. No. No. Let me tell you something, boy. If this go down, it's gonna break up our friendship. He was like, what you mean? I said, T, if my friend catches a disease or gets heartbroken or if anything happens to her, I'm gonna be mad and I'm gonna be sad. And I'm not going to want to talk to you no more because she's not going to talk to him anymore. You know, T thought about it. He was like, all right, all right. So he talked to his homeboy and they didn't get it on. Oh, yeah, we, we stopped it from happening that day. Anyways, so, you know, it's the next day. Time go by. Next day and next day. And then, you know, I finally... Get a hold. What are you doing? Y'all, this chair, 
she, she trying to do something bad. I feel it in my spirit. Bye. No, it ain't no bye. I'm still talking to him. So you better eat that roll. So, um. Uh, one day, I catch Mary, and I'm, I'm talking to him like, uh, Mary, what's going on? Because we, we no longer was hanging out after school, you know, doing our schoolwork and studying. It's like she had, since the deed did not happen, it's like she kind of shied away from me. Because she felt like it was my fault that it didn't happen. And, you know, truth be told, it was my fault that it didn't happen. And I was proud of it, happy for it. So, I'm like, what's going on? You know, are you mad at me? And she's like, no, I'm not mad at you. She's like, but that's something that I really wanted to happen. And I know it would have made me happy. And she's like, because it didn't happen, he is spending more time with Lisa. I'm like, okay. So, and uh, girl, move on to the next dude. He want nobody else. You know, I was, I didn't care for him. So she was like, no, nah, I really want to be with him. And she was all sad, y'all. And she had got depressed. And she started talking crazy. Not to me, but just about herself. And it made me feel bad because I don't want to see my friend hurt, even though it would have been worse if she had a disease and died from the disease. But anyways, I was just like, oh, okay. I was like, okay. Look, I was like, if that's what you want to do, if that's what makes you happy, go ahead and do it. And I, you know, I, I started talking to her about, you know, diseases, different diseases she could catch and what happens if she catches the disease. And y'all, I was making up diseases, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to really convince her not to do it, but... You know, she was her own person if that's what she wanted to happen. Plus, all the other girls, they had been having sex, and they don't call diseases, and they get uh, medicine, and they make it better, and they just do it again. So, I guess she was want to do the same thing. So, I was like, I'm not going to block you anymore. I'm not, you know, I'm just going to leave you alone. I'm going to leave you in that situation alone. She was like, okay, thank you. So, show sure enough, you guys, they end up having sex. They did it. And, of course, she told me all about it. And she was like, it, you know, she said it wasn't what she thought it was going to be. And uh, she, But she was glad that she did do it because now he uh, said that he loved her and woo to woo and all that good stuff. So I'm like, do you feel much better now that you've had sex? And she was like, yeah, I really do. And she's like, now he's going to uh, leave Lisa alone and be with me. I said, is that what he told you? She's like, yes. She's like, that's what I know to be true. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all. Not only did he not leave Lisa alone, but this boy started talking to other people too. So I'm like, you know, he was no good for you. He really was. And then at the time that they were doing all that situation, I had heard through the grapevine that, uh, about his uh, other person that he was talking to was the same sex as him. That, that's what I had heard in the grapevine. Now, I didn't know if it was true or not at that time. I didn't know. But you you, you don't want to talk to or be with anybody that have rumors like that going around about them. Not back then, anyways. So, you know, I told her, I was like, he's supposed to be talking to somebody else. And, you know, she was like, I don't care. She's like, he just, he's not talking to anybody. He's just uh, not feeling himself lately. And because the two of them wasn't talking to, like, to each other like they used to. They wasn't spending time together every day. You know, even though they only spent a little time together anyways. But they wasn't, she would rarely see him. When she did see him, he was with somebody else. Not Lisa, but with another girl. So, I'm thinking to myself, girl, he just used you for yo. He just wanted some unused that's all he wanted. That's what, you know. But she didn't want to hear that. And uh, Lisa, of course, she tells me that they were still talking. They were still doing certain things they were doing. They wasn't been doing it as much, but she said they were still doing it. So, Mary became very, very depressed. Very depressed. And she stopped wanting to spend time with... Hold on, you guys. So, Mary and I, we had... Uh, we were still cool, we were still friends, but we wasn't hanging out together anymore. So I started spending more time with Kim. Y'all remember my best friend Kim? I started spending uh, more time with Kim. And uh, so instead, out of school, instead of being with Mary, I was with Kim. And I wanted 
to still be friends with Mary and I wanted her to feel better. I didn't want her to try to commit suicide. I didn't want her to kill herself. I didn't want none of that stuff to happen to her. Cause uh she kinda she found out she she did catch an S T D, but thanks to God that it was curable. You know, they she went to the doctor and they gave her some medicine and did treatment the whatever they did to her and she was better but she still didn't want to hang out with anybody or spend time with me or anything or anybody else at that time. So I'm trying to find out, like, what's his deal? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm mad at T at this point. I'm like, T, you need to talk to your boy and find out what he got going on. He needs to stop sleeping with people if he know he got a disease. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, T, if you his real friend, you get him help and all this good stuff. And T's like, you know, I'm going to try to do what I can. He's like, I, I can't force him to do something he don't want to do. So I was like, you know what? I like, i do it. I said, I'm going to whip his butt for getting my friend sick. So it was one day after school, me and Ken, we hanging out, and we looking for him. When I say we searching for his boy, we searching for him. We going to all his little spots. He normally be in the front of school. If he ain't in the front of school, he in the back of school. He was always somewhere with some female. So, you know, we going around looking for him because we were finna have this situation. You done got our friend sick. You know, she could have died. You know, we're mad. We're upset. We finna get this boy. Y'all, tell me why. We found him. Let me tell you where we found him. We found him at the bottom of the steps. Yes. Like, it, it was this, this... <sighs> Yeah, he's a pot. I'll be back, yeah. So, yes, you guys. We found him at the bottom of the stairs. We were at the top of the stairs, walking upstairs, and we happened to look down the stairs, and there he was, you guys. Hugged up with a boy. You heard me right? A boy kissing and hugging. I mean, really all up into it, grinding on each other and everything at the bottom of the stairs. Y'all best believe we hollered. We were like, oh, my God. Oh my god, we're telling everybody. We took off running. Oh my god, of course, when we screamed, everybody came to look and see. And everybody saw what was going on. Of course, they had stopped and everything, but you could tell because they closed all messed up. Everybody knew what they had been doing. So, word got back to Mary. And Mary became even more sad. She got depressed. And she told me she is tired of boys. She never talked to boys again. She said she's going to go over to women. And I was like, well, what you mean you're going over to women? She's like, I'm gay now. I was like, okay. I thought she was just playing, right? But then a couple of days later, she came to me and asked me, did I want to be her girlfriend? And I was like, no, I, I can't I can't do that. And she's like, why not? I was like, I, I just can't do that. I'm not into females like that. I was like, we could be friends and we could talk and everything, but I can't be your girlfriend and you can't be my girlfriend. So I thought it was just a phase that she was going through, but now that we're adults and we're grown, you guys, she is still into women. After that, she never did talk to boys ever again, which is a shame because she's a very pretty smart girl, well, woman now. But yeah, that's how Mary became gay. But you guys, that's the end of my story. I thank you guys for watching. Be blessed.